Hi everyone, my name is Bilal Khan and you are watching Simplified Coding. In the last video, we learned how we can use Jetpack Compose with XML or in XML. And in this video, we will learn how we can use XML inside Jetpack Compose. So Jetpack Compose is fully interoperable with our traditional XMLs. So you can use XML layouts inside your composable functions as well. And it is very handy when you are working on an existing project and you have some layout files that you do not want to recreate completely in Compose. And even when you have some kind of custom view that you created, if you want to use that, you can use it inside Composable Functions because Jetpack Compose is completely interoperable. So let's see how we can use an XML layout inside a Composable Function. So again, this is the last project and I have created this layout one. You can see here it is a simple XML layout and I have a relative layout and a text view where I am displaying a text. Now I will show you how we can use this layout one.xml inside a composable function. So I will go to main activity and here we have this main content that we are setting for our main activity. Now inside this file only, I will create one more composable function. So I will create composable. So this annotation we use to create composable functions. And now I will write fun and let's say I will name it um, compose with XML or you can name your function whatever you want. Now whenever you want to use XML inside a composable function, then there is another composable function to do this and that is called Android view. Now if you control click this Android view, then you can see it is another composable function that takes three parameters. The first one is the factory as you can see here and this block is for creating the view to be composed. The next parameter is the modifier that we can pass with any composable function. And finally, we have update and it is the callback to be invoked after the layout is inflated. So in update callback, you can perform actions like setting a click listener or updating the UI values. And in factory, we will basically inflate the view that we want to compose. And modifier is same that we were using in all our composable functions. So whenever you want to render an XML view inside a composable function, you need to use this Android view function. Now let's see how we can use it. So it takes three parameters. The first one is the factory. Then we have modifier. So I will pass modifier as well. So we have factory, we have modifier and we have update. So we have three parameters. The first one is a Lambda argument and we get context here and this lambda should return the view that we want to display and because we want to display this layout 1.xml what we will do is we will inflate this layout if you want to display some common xml ui components for example text view then you can directly create text view here like this and you need to pass the context but in our case we want to inflate this layout 1.xml that we already created so what I will do is I will write here view and then I will call the function inflate that we use to inflate the XML layout files. For the first parameter, I need to pass context that I have inside this Lambda argument. So I will pass it. For the next parameter, we need to pass the ID of the layout that we want to inflate. So I will pass r.layout.layout1. The last parameter is the parent of the layout. In this case, I do not have any parent. So I will pass null here. And that said, I have inflated the view that I want to display inside this composable function. Then after the view, we can pass a modifier. So for now, I will just pass a simple modifier that is modifier.fill max size. Finally, we have this update where we can update the view. So inside update lambda, we will get the view that is inflated and rendered. And with the help of this view, we can manipulate the view. For example, we need to add a click listener 
or we need to update the text for example we have this layout one here and inside layout one we have this text view let's say we want to add a click listener to this text view then what i will do is i will go to main activity and here inside update block i will use this view instance so what i will do is i will first find this text view and we can use the traditional function that is find view by id so i will create a text view here and i will find the text view that i am looking for inside this view that we have inside this lambda so i will write at dot find view by id and i will pass the id of the view that i am looking for so i will pass r dot id dot text underscore view and because it is a text view i will define the type as text view like this now i have the text view now what i will do is i will attach a click listener so here i will write text view dot set on click listener like this and inside this lambda what i will do is i will update the text of the text view so here i can write text view dot text equals to view text updated or whatever message you want to pass it is just an example so now instead of this main content i will display compose with xml and in my preview function as well i will display compose with xml like this and now if i build and refresh to refresh the preview i will get the new output so you can see i am getting the xml view here in my compose preview because in this composable function that we just created compose with xml i am inflating an xml view and i am also manipulating that view here in the update callback so now i will run the application to show it is working so let's run it so here you can see it is working absolutely fine we are using this compose with xml that is a composable function but we are rendering an xml layout here and if i click on this text view then you can see this view text is updated and that means this part is also working absolutely fine so this is how you can use xml inside your composable function so that's all for this video friends i hope you found this video helpful and learned something in case you have any problem or confusion you can leave it in the comments below and i will try to help you out so thanks for watching everyone this is bilal khan now signing 